This is Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with Charles Neal and my son Link from Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. Hi, <laughs> you remember? How you doing, Link? I'm doing good. Dad from Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we we uh, well, it's been a couple of, but we we made it through uh, switching the and learning to live with daylight savings time again. Wow. Oh, dumb. It takes me like half the year to get used to stuff springing, springing and then you forward. Got to turn back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Longer days, I welcome it. I welcome it. Longer days, shorter nights. The end is near. Uh, I'm feeling good though. I'm feeling good. Oh yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's warming up, and the Trees is blooming and everything's blooming. Look at this. See, you notice this? I got something growing down my arm here. You see that? I'm going in in a oh, couple yeah. of days to get this to get this field plant in. plant on my arm filled in. You see that? Yeah. All I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some advice, Dad. I learned it a little too late. In the process, don't don't get a tattoo on the inside elbow. of your elbow. Good Ooh, gracious, baby. that right there is the spot. And when I got this, when he went in there and was doing this line work, I started texting Christy and everybody else that I, and Lily and everybody else that I know. I was like, I am, this is another level. Like, I have not been in this much pain. I've had all this other work done, you know, like six hours, nine hours. But nothing like what felt like right there. Whew. And now I got to go back in in a couple of days to get it filled in, and I'm just going to be, I'm going to be in some kind of way. But pain is temporary. Plants on your arm is, I'm told, permanent. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah if yeah. you're going to go through that much pain, you won't, you won't want to have them took off. <clears throat> you kind of ought to know that because I hit my elbow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> This morning, oh. and, and it, I thought, oh, right there. oh, my God, right on that bone, mm -hmm. right there, right there. And I yeah. said, oh, my goodness. So I, I could have told you that, that, that. And I think I remember your cousin Lance saying the same thing about the one he got when he got to doing that around his elbow, that it was, the spot. It was some kind of tough. Yeah. Yeah. And even down, down here when you get to where, like, in your wrist where you're like your watch would be it's very painful down there too so many people get tattoos down there i was like oh that'll be nothing but then like down there it's like i mean that was pretty painful well your too. skin is pretty thin down there too it's a where, sensitive area yeah so i can't back out now oh no and, <laughs> and you say and and i can tell you one thing unless uh lightning strikes me again or something I ain't Again, getting the tattoo. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think I think if you come back out here to California, and Lincoln Lincoln said he wants to get a four, and if that he was like, Dad, I want you to get a three, and you might have to get a two or a JR or something. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> think about um, it. Yeah, don't it doesn't I have to be big. It. You know, you might get further with me with Lincoln talking to me about that than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. And it ain't that I don't love you, but he is my grandson. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll let him know that it's up to him to get you get you on board. So I think we we we're getting pretty close. So you're probably gonna bring this up, but uh, Lily turning twenty one. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we're planning a big party for. Her, you know. Um. So she's coming back from so school. You. you is is your mama coming out there for that? Oh uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh she's coming out. Oh, oh gosh, this is a whole thing. So just as a side note, mom is coming out. And you know who's coming out with her? My sister. Nope. Another guest. Oh. My mother in law. Christy's mom. Oh my God. She's, she's never finally fly. been on a plane. Ever, and she is flying out here 
Yeah, it'll be after that, so I can give you an update later. But we've laid the plans for it. Mom and Mitzi are coming out here together. And I'm going home. Uh, I'll be home, so we've coordinated it where I will be flying back with these two women. And that, and they said, well, Mitzi told Mom, well, you can hold my hand on the flight and I was like, yeah, and if you need me, you can wake me up. <laughs> 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 I, just wanted, I just wanted to go ahead and prepare them. I'm there if you need me, but I'm not going to be awake un, un, for, the, for the flight. I, you can wake me up, but I will not be awake. I'm just going to let so you know that. Maybe you need to get, because uh, your mama's flu before. So yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. Maybe just get. Something to drop in Mitzi's drink when she get after she right when she sits down on the plane, then what? she you, kind of just go out and la la land. Well, yeah, you want me to roofie my mother in law? <laughs> no, yeah. come it's on, help her, help her be at ease, Link. Well, I but I don't want to roofie her. I mean, that's just it just seems weird and and wrong, you know. I mean, I could. I could, I could, yeah, encur- when, I could encourage her to too. roofie herself. That's different. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. She's not. It's not like she's. Miss- she's not B. A. Baracus on the A team. I don't. I'm not going to hit her upside the head with like a a tire iron or something. <laughs> she wakes up on the, in another time zone. <laughs> you remember they had to knock Mister T out every time he got on a flight. Yeah. You know, big man's got a weakness. So, yeah, that's going to be an adventure in and of itself down the road. But back to Lily. Yeah, you're right. So for her 21st, we're like, Christy was like, well, let's make a, let's have a party. Let's make a, let's make a big to-do out of this. And so she's coming home from school, but she's inviting her like close friends from school and her close friends from high school. So college, high school, and then like, family friends. So it's going to be like a, and then friends that she has in LA. So it's like that she's made friends that she's made through the internet, like her various fandoms on the internet, like, and pretty much everybody's saying they're going to be able to show up. Now we're very excited about it. She has decided. Where are you having it at? We're going to have it at, um, you at, ain't got to say that, but you, you're not having it at your house. We're gonna have it at the uh, at the creative house. You know where Rhett and I work. It's like it's oh, set okay. it's set up to have a good party. And Lily has decided she wants it to be a 2000s prom theme. Hmm. So, I mean, she was born in 2003. So. I guess that's why she was thinking 2000s. Also, I, I really think the genesis of the idea was she loves to go thrifting and she always comes back with these like fantastic dresses that she finds, like high dollar gowns that she finds at thrift shops. Um, and she's paying like $4, $10, $20 for these things. It like, the dress that she, you know, some she'll come home and she'll go to the Streamy Awards with me. She's done that a few years, a few times, and she's. I she, saw the last dress yeah. she wore. We were there, getting flying out the day or the day before. Yeah, she paid like. I, I think that it was green. Yeah, she's paying yeah. like ten dollars for this dress. Yeah, and that thing was out of this world. And so, like this I mean, two thousand vibe is like a cool thing, and she's she likes finding these dresses. And I guess her friends do too, yeah. or or she's saying, well, you can get a cheap dress, you can kind of dress up, and so it's like everybody's going to be dressed up, and uh, Elk Hound Snuggle Baby is going to be the DJ. Oh man, mm-hmm. yeah, I hear you. Yeah, okay. he, so uh, I got a I got a brush up on my two thousand set. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of two thousands pop music you know it's like so I, I really got to work a little bit harder like i'm more of a 90s guy and then a current guy it's like that 2000s i don't know i'm the whole nsync backstreet boys 
thing. It's just like I I have a hard time playing music that I don't like. So I'm trying to find there's plenty of 2000s music that I do like, but I got to give them some crowd pleasers, you know, that that are not really my cup of tea. Sounds like she got it on, got got it going on, getting it ready, so. Yeah, it's going to be fun. She's ringing in her uh her 21st birthday and I uh am had an idea for us. You know, last week I taught you about some doohickeys. I thought this week you could help me out with my DJ set by just seeing how you vibe with some of my 2000 selections. I thought the okay. best way to do that was to give you sections of lyrics and see if you can complete the phrase. How's that okay. sound? Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And then I'll you can try. you can tell me if you think it's uh if if it's worthy of being in my set. It's time for our first edition of Guess That Bop Pop. All right, you ready for this? You ready for the first one? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, this song from 2002 by the artist Nelly called Hot In Here. It's getting hot in here, so hot. So, I want to take all my clothes off. Dad, you got it. Kind of. It's getting hot in here, so hot, so I want to. I want to undress myself. Well, not yourself. Oh. This is an imperative. This is Nelly okay. singing to everybody else, presumably on the dance floor. It's getting hot in here, so. I can take my shirt off while I'm dancing. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, so hot. So take off all your clothes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to give you that one. You're right on that okay. one. Okay. But I do think there would be a ring to him singing, It's getting hot in here, so hot. So I'm going to take my shirt off on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> This one's from 2007, Flow Rider. You like Flow Rider? Uh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, you I don't have to apologize. I don't know who Flow Rider is. Okay, it's okay. maybe I'll. Well, you you might know this song. Shawty <laughs> had them apple bottom jeans, boots with. Diamonds and lace all over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. No, no, softer than that. Shawty had them uh, apple bottom jeans, boots with the with the with fruit on them. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fruit on them. That could work. That's not it though. It's it's something more soft to the touch. Boots with the velvet on them. Shawty had them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. But I like more fruit. That'll work. <laughs> I think you've improved on it. All right. Lil John in 2002 on the smash hit Get Low sang To the Window, To the Window, To the Wall, To the Wall, Till the Mm. Oh, Lord, boy, you got me on this. I'll give thing. you another word here. To the window, to the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat. That drips <gasps> down my body. Oh, <laughs> man, that was so close. It's not, it's more, it's, it, that was basically it, but you need to be more specific. To the window, to the wall. To the sweat drops down my crack of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes, Dad. It rhymes. <laughs> to the window, to the wall. <laughs> to the sweat drops down my balls. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. 
uh, till all these bitches crawl. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. This 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 one's uh, kind of snazzy from 2009. The Black Eyed Peas. You like Black Eyed Peas? Yeah, I think I've heard of the Black Eyed Peas. There you Don't go. Don't know if I know any of the song, but I heard of. Them. On Boom Boom Pal, they sing, "I'm so 3008. You're so 2000 and 22." <laughs> okay, well it it rhymes. Again, that was your hint. I'm so oh. 3,008. You're so 2,000 and... Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm so 2,000 and balls. <laughs> you're, so, you're so 2,000 and balls, yeah. No, uh, it's... Uh, I'm so 3,008. You're so 2,000 and late. Oh, like it's a okay. year. See, get it. But I, I again, I like yours better. All right. <laughs> um, your thoughts on Beyonce? Kind of one hot mama. Okay. Good. Yep. <laughs> Can't argue with that. What do you think about her foray into country music, Dad? I did not know that she was foraying. <laughs> well, she is. She's she's okay. releasing a country album. What do you think about that? Well, I'd love to see the videos that comes out with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, okay, yeah, I agree. All right, so in 2006, before she was a country music artist on Irreplaceable, she sang, To the left, to the left, everything you own. It gone to the left. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much right. Uh, to the left, to the left, everything you own in the home is gone to the left. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, too. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the home to the left. Yep. Everything you own in the box to the left. I, 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 think, oh. you, I think you did better. I think... You you should now be like one of those guys who comes into the studio and helps punch up lyrics. Mm -hmm. You call him the balls man. <laughs> 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 Got to put balls in it. <laughs> All right. Again, yeah, another week of me teaching you something, but you surprised me this week. So thank you. Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, you surprised me. I don't... I, are you talking about Beyonce now is doing it in 2024? Doing yes. a country album? Yes. Okay, I got to check that out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Watch the videos. Well, maybe she, hey, the Country Music Awards is coming out about the time this is coming out in April. See if she'll be on the Country Music Awards. Maybe so. I hope so. That might make me watch it. I'm telling you. Okay. This passage from Myrtle Beach is sponsored by BetterHelp. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. What's the right amount of socializing for you, and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people, or maybe you need some more long time. Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. Well, I just learned what social battery is, and my social battery is usually pretty good because I like being around people and kind of like being the center of attention sometimes, like me and Link both, you know. <laughs> but it's pretty neat, you know, but I, lo I know a lot of people don't like to be around a lot of crowds for very often, and it's kind of out of their boundaries with what they do. So, you know, whatever your lifestyle is, better help can help with that if you need some help with it. So you need just need to go online and look it up and find out what your aptitude is about your social battery, and they can help you with it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It's entirely online. 
designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash dispatches today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dispatches. If you like my podcast, you might also really like Link's other podcasts. It's not as good as mine, but it's still great. The episodes drops wherever you get your podcast on Mondays and on the video on YouTube the following Wednesday. Head to youtube.com slash at earbiscuits. It's time for another edition of... Y'all need to look at this paint. Okay, I got a email from Alyssa and <clears throat> says, My partner wants to finish a long-delayed project in his house and would love your advice. The breakfast nook part of his kitchen was originally wallpapered. The wallpaper was removed years ago by an unknown method, and it has existed this way ever since. <laughs> We're wondering if you would be able to tell us whether we should do any additional preparation to the surface before adding texture. Also, wondering if you have a paint color you think would work well with the existing colors but make the room a little less pastel. Neither of us have much knowledge in this type of thing, but we're going into this project guessing these steps would be texture, prime, and paint. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of people yeah. have problems with wallpaper. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I mean, if you, you don't know what you're doing, and it's according to how it was put up very initially, if it don't come off good, it'll... And I've seen, I seen a picture of this wall. Oh, really? Uh, okay, let's see it. All them little brown places Ew. and stuff is where to get pulled the rock off the sheet rock. That does not look good. That looks like a suspicious public restroom stall. <laughs> it's, huh. it's, 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 it's pretty bad, but... <clears throat> okay. Uh, but... Um, but don't lose heart. Because but Charles Lisa, Neal is here you know, to help you. There's a lot Alyssa. of things. If you're go, if you're gonna put texture on the wall, and it's according to <clears throat> what kind of texture you're gonna use. If you're gonna use a sand based texture like they do in a lot of homes in Florida and places, or you're gonna go to one of these depart these stores, uh that sell these paint products and you can buy these sponges and put it on the wall and put different colors, two or three different colors and two or three different steps. But if you're going to do something like that, you're going to need to fix them places on that wall with some sheetrock mud. And that's probably the best advice I could give you is the, uh, before you go to painting, and priming the wall and everything, you need to get some sheetrock mud and try to get that wall back smooth again. But you got to start over. You got to smooth it all out. Oh, yeah. You got. You need to fix that mess. And if I'm you don't you. know how to, like, use sheetrock mud, why not just prime it and keep the texture and don't worry about it? Nobody will notice. That's what I would say. Is that bad? Just You could prime it with a good primer that'll fill in some of those holes. They make a primer that'll... Uh, kind of fill in and do those holes in those little where the sheetrock uh, is pulled off the rock on it. So, you know, you could do that, but the safest thing to do is to fix the wall and then fix it ever how you want to. You can just prime it and then you can paint it one color and it'll look good. What color are you recommending? I kind of picked that. I didn't know exactly what color you had, so I got... Can you? I can see it. Okay, the color in the middle at the top is kind of like the green you got on the walls. Mm -hmm. And you sent me a thing where I think it was the sunflower over here that you liked. But any of those colors that would go with what you've got, one of them sunflower and one of them's 
Osage Orange and uh, the Decisive Yellow and the Gusto Gold. Oh, Gusto Gold. I like going for the Gusto because you can say we went for the Gusto. You get it's it's one thing to paint a wall. It's another thing to have a good saying to go along with it. But I yeah. go for the gusto. What was the other yellow? Decisive yellow. Yeah. Well, I I mean you need to make a decisive decision. So yeah, Dad, I love to see you hard at work over there. It's just it's it's just a master at work. That's what I that's what I I just like witnessing it. But I I'm gonna say gusto just because of the name. Is that a bad reason? Well, I kind of like that color, but uh, I don't like it as well as the sunflower she picked out or the decisive yellow. Okay, well, I, let's, I, let's go with but, sunflower. I, I, but I, I'm just not a uh, a gold person. Okay, I just that was that's just my opinion. You you might like that gold. All right, yeah, but well, it would go with that green. Yeah, All well. these colors would flow and go with the green. All right, Alyssa. He's put you. He's put you in the territory. Now you have to make a decisive decision and go for the gusto. But you might want to smell the sunflowers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so good luck with your whatever y'all decide to do. But but you need to you do know, something. It, it, like yeah, get it, it done. Like you yeah, got a good idea. Follow through with it. You didn't tell me where you lived at. So I that wall is hurting. So. What, what you know? What what part of the country and who I might could we couldn't we couldn't track lead, you down and look through you. the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, when they get through, you you got my email address. Send it. Send us a picture back so we can see what you did and, mm -hmm. uh, and take credit what for it. Did to the walls because I I want y'all to get that done just like Link said. So it'll look a lot better in there. Uh, uh, my wife would have done run me off if I hadn't done fix something if it had been that long. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, she'd have, or she'd have hired somebody else and it'd already be done. <laughs> right, right. You couldn't have that. Well, I, ho I hope that helped. And uh, if y'all got any painting questions out there, y'all can send them in too. I, I might can help you and I'm, I might couldn't have not. But <laughs> uh, I'll try. And uh, we'll see, but look, Link, it, it was fun having you here with us today. All of y'all having this, you Myrtle Beast with us today. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next week for another one. And don't forget to click those follow and subscribe buttons wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube. And while you're at it, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. And if you got a question, comment, or story you'd like to share with me, email me at ratherbeshagging53 at aol.com. And <clears throat> y'all have a great rest of the week. And we can't wait to spin your world again next time. So y'all come on back, you Myrtle Beast. And I'll be talking to you later, Link. I love you. All right. Love you too. Bye-bye.